Sigurd. Eivor, before you say more, I must tell you something. Randvi and I have, uh, have ended our marriage. I am sorry to hear that. Ah, do not be. We adore one another dearly, but our marriage was not built on love. We were brought together as an act of peace. I was pledged to her well before I knew her. And though we have tried to settle our differences and find love in our faults, it has not worked out. And so we have dissolved our bond. Yet as a clan, we will grow together. And I'm glad for you both, and for the rest of us. This place would not be the same without you two. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. Come to me. Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. I want to see the Alliance map. What can you tell me of Vinland? Is it a real place, or merely a rumor? Rumor or not, I found someone willing to sail you there. She claims to have seen it once before. If she's willing to risk her life beside me, and make the long journey, I'll take her at her word. Nessa is her name. Meet her at the docks when you are ready to leave. I'll go now and end the life of Gorm Kjotveson, where the Valkyries cannot find him. It is a long voyage, Eivor. Be careful. to you, stranger. Nessa, is it? I am Maivor. Ranvi said you would be my that guide. That's right. Pass it into Brenton's land. Is that right? Ranvi called it Vinland. One and the same. It is a three-week trip by longship. Arduous, dull, possibly fatal. Should we survive, you'll be compensated. Eivor, before you go, you must be dressed as a thrall when you arrive. To be seen as you are would raise suspicions. Gorm runs this new camp, and it is a good bet all but a few will be loyal to him. Good thinking. Only taking care of our prize Drenger. First things first, Eivor. My ship, my rules. Second, you follow the rules. Third, if you listen to my rules, you live. Understood. Good. Let me know when you're ready and we'll get going.
Ready to set sail? I'll leave my gear behind and dress the part. To Vinland we go. Hop in! We'll leave now! Three cold weeks on the whale road. Past mountains of ice and kingdoms of stone. Saga lands. All this way to kill a man. Gorm Kjotveson, the son of my father's old foe. What dark work does the Order have so far across the open sea? Someone in charge. I'd better step with care. No friends here. You! You look stronger than most of the others. What's your name? Jora of Jorvik. Jora? As in horse? My father never wanted children. What is this place? Newhaven. A wild place found on no map. Are we settling here? That is not our plan. Too many wild folk in the woods. They threaten us. You ask too many questions, horse. Your task is to keep your mouth shut and do as I tell you. Now, unload that ship and then I'll have you carry those Hildi! carrots. Hildi! Hildi! We can't find Olaf. Look, he's ours. Not again. We cannot send supplies to Gorn without his guidance. Ugh! Pull what supplies we have to the nearest camps, then. Gorm's men will do the rest. Let me go. I can carry whatever supplies Gorm needs. That's Olaf's job, horse. Not yours. You stick to this port and keep your head down. Ask around about Olaf. Someone must know where he has run off to. If I can find this Olaf, I know where Gorham is. Nessa, is your ship headed for England? It is. Are you ready to head back? No, I must yet perform a few tasks. <sighs> Wondering, have you seen uh, Hilde's brother about? Olaf or the unlucky? Why are you sweet on the fellow? Is that it? No, no. Just worried about him. That's all. Uh, well... I have some bad news for you, lass. Gormer comes roaring up, shouting, What's all this? Who's been in my gear? And he stares right at Olafer. Oh, sweet Olaf. The poor man. What then? Was he all right? 
all that for. He tries to run, but says, I weren't stealing, I was trading. But Gormer would have none of that. I can't bear to hear another word. Good, Olaf. To think he may have been hurt, or worse. Trading. Who could this Olaf trade with here? Shovel from Gorm's storehouse? No, it is a rotten place, that storehouse. Have you seen it? <laughs> a bloody mess. If it's a mess, then clean it, dung brain. You've beat Olaf bad. Thrashed him and locked him away in the storehouse. You know why? Because Olaver stole from Gorm and got caught. You're not stealing, are you? No, no. Good. Now less whining, more working. Gorum storehouse. A good place to start. <laughs> No, you tell Gorm he got out of the storehouse. Gorm is not here. So until he is, I won't worry on it. You should. You're the one who lost him. Maybe so, but I am sailing back to England at first light. May Loki eat this place. Where is Gorm at, anyway? We have supplies waiting for him. Only Olaf would know. But he had a kind of accident. Olaf the Unlucky. The fool earned his nickname. <laughs> this whole cursed adventure isn't lucky, if you ask me. This Olaf cannot bear any loyalty to Gorm. Could be he will aid me. Hmm. So, someone broke through here. Made quite a mess. Could be all love went this way. to high ground. Good. I can get my bearings. Be my eye. Sunen, guide me.
Yo, no wonder that could be a young boy. What? Those two carry themselves like leaders. It's worth a try. friends do you do we do we understand one another oh yeah can you tell that care on you jok no hoda ti gade ki go yungwe do any of you speak norse or saxon so za de got ki go yungwe ya te de wa yan deri ya de yungwe ye hri ze ona zini to di ni gohra di hantos ne ga Giga odzidaa wa o nazi ne giga yungwe tigade nat ne e this is sunen her name means insight yanja dahowe giga tinue oya ganyatara keronu itres danu ahinasku ahoya dagenha toka ahuna darohage giga Sunen made us some friends. These My Mika, they're still. <laughs> Waterfalls are places of power in the old sagas. Giga oya ganyatera keheronu rodaska. Nine days I hung in the tree. Nine days, you hear me? There is a language I know well, but the words are mind sick. Zatunde gantiga, roja datku, zatsetsant doga askweni, toner era ancha da hawite nega. Then I threw my eye in the well. This is wisdom. Sounds like the winds are the sea. I am. Olaf. Called the unlucky, but don't you believe it? And where is, uh... Promise you will do it quick. What? Do not stab me from behind, Drengur. Like Sigurd and the dragon. Please. I'm not here to kill you. I've come for Gorm. N not not here to kill me? Not today. Oh, stay clear of Gorm, then. He's not a good man. Not a good man at all. Why would you need to see such a terrible man? It is a matter of honor. And Gorm owes me a great debt. Let's leave it at that. Oh, good. Yes. Yes, honor is good. Olaf will help you. Olaf will help you so much. Honor is the only thing. Yes, the only thing. I saw signs of a struggle at your camp. Did something happen between you and Gorm? Nothing to speak of. He, um, did not care for me trading with the villagers here. Beat me and put me in chains. I slipped away free. Not so unlucky, am I? Still alive, yes. Still alive. Good. Point me toward Gorm. Not possible. He is away, far away at the camps in these woods. All well guarded. Might be at anyone. Why camps? Is he settling here? Searching for something. Searching, yes. Always searching and never finding the mean, mean back rut. And how do I find these camps? I can show you. Follow, follow, follow. Oh. 
Olaf, would you tell me something? Anything Olavur can tell, Olavur will tell my new and big friend. Why would Gorm cross the sea to this nameless wilderness? It seems a great risk for so little. Gorm carries with him a crystal that talks. It tells him where to go and what to do. A talking crystal? It is truth. The elf stone tells him to seek, and so he seeks. And when it says dig, he digs. Such a mystery. What is he digging for? <laughs> that is a mystery he will not tell. But my guess is the best guess. He seeks the door to Jotunheim. <laughs> Olaf, would you tell me something? Anything Olavur can tell, Olavur will tell my new and big friend. Why would Gorm cross the sea to this nameless wilderness? It seems a great risk for so little. Gorm carries with him a crystal that talks. It tells him where to go, what to do. A talking crystal? It is true. The elf stone tells him to seek, and so he seeks. And then it says dig, he digs. Such a mystery. What is he digging for? <laughs> that is a mystery he will not tell. But my guess is the best guess. He seeks the door to Jotunheim. <laughs> the river. One of Gorm's camps. All look like that. All of them. 
They are well guarded, you say? Oh, yes. By fierce men. Warriors who attack any stranger on sight. Anyone. And they are all well armed. Not like you. As well equipped as a stable hand. <laughs> it does not take much to kill a man. But sharp steel helps. Oh, yes. You are not wrong. I could use better weapons. Olaver will help. Gather ore and hides to barter for war gear. Ore and hides? I can find out there? Yes. Yes! Some in the woods, much more at Gorm's camps. Then trade it all with the people here. Easy as a smile. Yes. Yes. I don't understand the language. Can you translate for me? <laughs> no need, no. We talk with signs. Just walk up to a trader and start trading. Take this. Some goods to get you started. Thank you for this, Olaf. And until I say otherwise, speak nothing of this to anyone. Might be a good idea to trade, now that I'm here.